good, what's good, baby? How you doing, self? It's King Don. Well, you know, man, I got started, man, early, man, in the game, you know what I mean? I was always a fan of hip-hop, you know what I mean? You know, the DJ and the scratching, the graffiti. You know, I was tagging first, word is born. A lot of Whoa. niggas don't know that. I was tagging, you know what I mean? Then from there, you know, start doing a little mixing. And I went straight for that mic, son. Once I got hold of that mic, it wasn't no letting it go, you feel me? How that came about, me and Almighty used to hustle on the same block when um, his man Tony D scored the little record deal. So when Tony D scored the record deal, he came and snatched Almighty. So when he came and snatched Almighty, being I was the hottest thing on the block, you know what I mean, the hottest thing in my hood, you know what I mean, Almighty came and got me. So he took me to the studio. We laced, I, I, I went in, you know what I mean, I came up with the concept, the hook and all that shit. So when I did that, them niggas wrote their verse, Almighty wrote his verse, Tone wrote a verse, and then we put the joint together. And then from there it was history. Early 90s, like you had you had BTs, you know what I mean? You had Mr. Owens jumping, you know what I mean? Uh, West Indies, they called it, you know what I mean? You had that, you had a few joints, son, that was popping, and it was uh, lovely. Clubs? Yeah, clubs, those was clubs, you know what I mean? And it was lovely coming up at them times because you can go in there and get your thing on, you feel me? Go in there and get right. You know, the city on your back, the city know you, the city like, yo, that nigga Katie Ranks popping. Because that's how I did it, son. Every motherfucking show, you know what I mean, or every party, I was going in. You know what I mean? It was just, bitch, give me the mic, I'm going in. Yo, niggas used to pay me to say their name on the mic, son. Word to God. That, that hip-hop reggae, you know what I mean? That's a, that's a real Trenton sound right there, you know what I mean? That's from Suicide Posse, Almighty and Katie Ranks, you know what I mean? Outstanding with Razi. You know what I mean? That whole thing right there, that's a Trenton sound right there. But not every nigga in Trenton is doing that right now. Like right now, you know, niggas is on different Grizzlies right now. You got Big Ooh out there right now. You got uh, Don Black out there right now. Mike Molest, you know what I mean? You got them cats and, and Killer Kaz, you know what I mean? Haiti. Them yeah, niggas. Don Black used to be Black Prince, right? Yeah, used to be Black back Prince in back in the day, true indeed. Well, like I was saying, I met Tony D through uh, Almighty. That was Almighty, man. Him and Almighty went to school together. So, you know, like I said, me and Almighty was on the same block getting paper, you know what I mean? We was out there hustling, so... You know, my name was popping in the street, you know what I mean? I was going, I was every party. I'm rocking every motherfucking party. Yeah, yeah every, every little reggae party, I'm in there. So, you know, when, when, when uh, Tone stepped to Almighty about his situation, Almighty came and got me. And we took it into the studio. And boom, banged it out from there, son. From we banged it out, it was a rap. Rest is history, yo. Yeah, true indeed. Keep we was alive. the first nigga signed to Interscope Records. First hip hop artist signed to Interscope Records. Word is born before Dr. Dre, before uh, Death Row, all that. They had us, Poetic Groove and Almighty and Katie Ranks. Poetic Groove was based out of New York, mm. but their parent company was Interscope Records out of California. Hov was out there at that time. Hov, I remember when Hov and Wise went at it. You know what I mean? That's a legendary. Battle? That's a legendary battle right what happened, there. man? Word is born. Wise gave him the business, to tell you the truth. Come you know on, what I mean? I already know that. Yeah, yeah. Wise gave him the business, to tell you no lies. But Jay was on his thing. You know, he was slick talking and all that, you know, with that Brooklyn swag. You know, he was on it. He did his thing too, though. Can't take nothing from Hov. You see where he at now. That's where he grew at. That's where he was at. He came out there on his little traveling, hustling, taking his little hustle on the road. You know Yo, what, what I mean? about, so he came what about, out there. Um, Niggas used to shoot big dice games. You what know about, that Hov? What about, nigga. what about Ghetto Boys, man? I know they was out. They was based out in Trenton. The original Trenton, members. Ab. They was originally from Trenton. I remember my first rap contest was against them niggas. And the whole show was rigged. They was already designed to get on. They already had a deal. They just needed recognition. Me. Mm -hmm. Tell you the truth. I ain't really... Cut, uh, in, in, in Trenton... Before me, you had a few cats, but I ain't really rock with them like that. You feel me? I was, I was, I was catching cats out of New York, cause I'm a throwback nigga. I'm from old school, so I was rocking with Cold Crush Brothers. You know what I mean? Shit like that. That's what I was listening to. That's the shit that inspired me. WHBI 105.9. Awesome too. You know what I mean? Awesome too. Teddy Tell, all them niggas. You know what I mean? Mr. Magic and all. Mr. Magic, wow. Jazzy Jeff. Oh, okay, so you, you hearing I mean? the real shit? Yeah, Africa not Islam. Yeah, that's the niggas that inspired me.